Hi everyone, my name is Mark Prettyman, and today I'll be discussing the web mapping platform of Mapbox. I figure it's quite suitable for me to review the platform since my initials are MAP. Uh, a little bit about Mapbox. Uh, from its website, it says that it is a location data platform for mobile and web applications. It's based on many open source tools that we've all learned about, such as open addresses and open street maps. And it says that it basically creates mo mapping tools, APIs, and SDKs so users can focus on their creations for desktop or mobile operating systems. Um, as you can see from the list of products here, it has maps, um, it does navigation, you can do uh, basically geocoding, you can create custom maps, um, it has an atlas, and there's platforms for mobile, web, AR, and auto. If we look a little bit uh, about what it can do, um, it's being used in the automotive industry, it's used for data visualization, augmented reality, logistics, and apps. Uh, as you can see here, it's being utilized by Porsche, Sprint, Adobe, um, Interesting enough, it has a video game tie-in here, um, and many of the, the apps that it's utilized for include Snapchat, Tinder, Facebook, and the Weather Channel. As far as pricing, it has a pay-as-you-go structure, which is basically C. As you can see here, it is free to start with, with up to a certain number of views and geocoding requests per month, or from the mobile SDK, Again, the number of active users or requests per month. Once you hit that limit, it then 50 cents per thousand web map views or requests or 500 active users for the mobile SDK. Uh, I signed up, of course, for, again, the free. Uh, it didn't ask me for a credit card or anything like that, and it was very easy to sign up. Now, as far as the utilization of it, uh, there is a quick tutorial on the Mapbox Studio, which is what's used to create the maps. Uh, within this documentation, I found a very uh, useful sample workflow of what goes on. Uh, you start with the map and you perform an upload of data as a data set with the data set editor. You draw and edit the data. You create a tile set from exporting your data. Choose a template style on the styles page. Modify the styles. You can add your layer containing the tile set. You style your layer in the style editor. And then you publish it. Um, I will now go through these steps very briefly. Once you're in your account, you can start by designing a map, um, which will take you right into a map, or you design a map, uh, Mapbox Studio. You can start with a basic, which is what it recommends, and it comes up with a preset list of layers that you can edit and add to. Uh, I decided for my quick example to kind of go away from this and start from scratch. So here I simply have a background satellite layer and a polygon shape file. Um, you don't have to worry what it's about, but I simply edited the shape file to be red uh, with some black outlines. The one thing you'll notice though is that if you zoom out too far, it does not show the data. It says it does this to kind of preserve memory, so I try to work with it very close up. Adding the data is relatively straightforward. It comes up with a new layer window here off to the side, and you can upload data. As far as the types, it has uh, MBT, MB tiles, KML, JPX, GeoJSON, shapefiles, or CSVs. Um, it, you definitely need to have the shapefiles zipped. Um, I've already added a few, which I won't show you the upload of the file because it does take a short while. Even for a very simple text file with data points, it took nearly a minute to upload and process and return the, the tile set. Um, but what I'll do here very quickly is add this data set, which is a set of data points. Once you have it there, you can style it by, say, changing the colors. Um, 
basically you can just rinse and repeat this for quite a bit, although I won't go through the steps. Uh, the one thing I will show is you can publish the data. Um, I've kind of already published this. As you can see, here it is beforehand as I've published it, and here it is as I already have. So I will go ahead and publish this information. It'll show the new uh, URL, which I will copy and open into a new window. And there you have it. As you can see, if I zoom out and go back over to the Mid-Atlantic area, you can see the dots and the shape files that I have. Uh, it's a very brief overview, but hopefully you can uh, get a gist of what Mapbox is. It's a little bit different from Esri and the ArcGIS online information, but uh, it's definitely a valuable tool otherwise. Thanks. Have a great night, everyone.